In this tutorial, you'll learn how to stitch Insta360 Titan photos in Insta360 Stitcher. First, make sure all your files have been imported into the same folder correctly. Each recording folder contains a project file, a gyro data file, eight original files captured by each lens, and a thumbnail file. Begin by importing a photo folder into Insta360 Stitcher. Drag the folders directly to the box on the left. Now you can adjust stitching settings in the upper right corner. Select the desired content type. Select the stitching mode. New optical flow is recommended for most situations, providing a good mix of stitching speed and quality. If you're unsatisfied with the final stitch of complex scenes, try optical flow instead. Template stitching is the fastest mode, but stitching quality will be lower. Select sampling type. This is more important for moving camera scenes. For static photos, the result will be similar between different options. Blender type is usually automatically chosen based on your computer configuration. Click to preview stitching effect. You can adjust the horizon, angle of view, and make simple color corrections. Drag the image in the preview window to change the angle of the view. You can also turn on the grid at the bottom. The Zenith optimization function can optimize stitching at the top of the image. This is particularly helpful when there are objects above your camera, such as tree branches or ceilings. You can also customize the Nadir logo while previewing. Note that this function is not supported for DNG photos. Now select Output Settings. Resolution can be selected or customized here. You can also set the output directory path and output file name. When you're done setting up, you can add the video to a batch list for bulk processing or stitch immediately. Progress is shown in the taskbar. After stitching is complete, you can open the folder to view the stitched photos.